Jason's intentions are trying to put the blame of his injustice to his family and his memory. I do have... I do not have much left to justice except for memories and some photos and flashes of how my life what it used to be before you took him away from us. We were building our lives together and now we will never have that again. Since I have since I must live with this every day for the rest of my life, I hope Jason does too. I passionately believe that you know what he he knows what he did and failed at his position at a state as official. This was not an unfortunate accident. This was a reckless action on his part. He's taken away everything from me and my family. I love Joseph with all my heart and wanted us to be together forever. I was proud of my husband and certainly will miss him forever for the rest, miss his love for me. I will never get the feeling of loving hugs, his enthusiasm of things he loved and shared his, especially his passion for growing jade plants, his loving of reading and quoting Nietzsche to me. Joseph fought long and hard through his life and had to share his, and had his share of struggles. But it had, he had started a new life in Highmore and put down roots here with me. And I am now lo- at a loss to how to think, how to act, how to react, how to go on with life, and how to cope. I am constantly stressed, fatigued, angered, and hopeless. I'm financially burdened with medical bills for Joseph and bills for the house and repairs. I've had to leave work a couple times because of my emotional state from constantly being bombarded by media coverage that has shaken me to the very core. I was attending college online at the time of Joseph's death at Colorado Technical University for the criminal justice, majoring in forensics. I cannot handle continue to go to school, work, and deal with the death of my husband at the same time, mentally or emotionally, so I had to drop out of college. I have no desire to do anything or deal with anyone because the people do not know how to react to me since this is such a high-profile case. I do not like to deal with people anymore because I just want this to discuss the situation that he has created. I'd also like to say, Judge, I am not one that believes in... I I agree with you, yes, there should be public announcements and things like that. But I disagree, I'm sorry, sir, with the fact that he should not do jail time for, for his actions. If it was any normal person that did this, we would have already been in jail. We would have spent our time in jail. What he did is he broke his own law. His law states, do not use your phone. And what did he do? He was using his phone and he ended up killing my husband that night. And it has taken an emotional toll beyond anything I've ever seen. So, I, I'm against the fact that he will not get jail time at all. I understand that, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you.